uh, today we're going to be looking at a uh, list hw command. Oops, w command. Now this command will list pretty much all the hardware on your system. So it is something that probably should be run as sudo or root. Um, otherwise, you may not get all the information that you're requesting. As you see, if you forget and you hit enter, it says warning. This should be run as a super user. Uh, while it's scanning the system. You will get an output and a lot of information, but there are certain things you can't view without being uh, either sudo or root. So we'll sudo that, type in my password, and it will scan and run and give me an output, which of course I can pipe into a file or grep through. Uh, and it gives you hardware information on the hard drives, the motherboard, uh, USB stuff, pretty much all your hardware, Firewire, PCI, you know, and there's other commit commands for these individual, but if you wanted to grab all that information in once, it is list HW, uh, LS HW, so list hardware. Um, now, of course, as always, you can man that and see all the different information, and there's a lot of different information here on how to output, you know, you can output the, uh, uh, the device tree as an HTML page. So if you're running this on a server, you can have the output display in HTML for a server-side script. So you can view it in a web browser, XML, uh, uh, you know, bunch of different stuff here. So you can just go through that. Definitely look through the man file. That's great to do with any program you're using. It's not very long for this one. And you can also, instead of piping it, there is a dump feature, dump it to a file. So that, that's just a quick look at that. But I also want to show you a application, uh, very similar. Uh, LSHW is installed on, on pretty much most systems, if not all systems, by default. Um, but this next one is not. It's called LSHW-GTK probably in your repositories, but it's the same thing, but it's a GUI interface for it. And I like to show this stuff every once in a while because anything that can be done from the command line can be done in a GUI interface as well. Um, it's just usually more convenient to do it from the command line. But uh, just wanted to show this as an example, and this is well as well. Uh, you can run it as regular user, but you won't get all the proper information. So sudo or root it. Uh, and let me pull this up here so you can see now that I've run it and it just ran a scan. So here's my computer. Gives me a basic overview right there. Basically, it's taking all the same information and displaying it out bit by bit here depending on what I click. So I can click this or double click this. There's my motherboard. Double click that. I can click on my CPU. Uh, get information on my CPU here. Uh, memory. So it's all the same information just displayed in a GUI interface that you can uh, click on. So that's another look at that. Basically, GUI front end for the command line back end. Um, so that's lshw-gtk, and the uh, command line version is just lshw. Same information, just displayed in a GUI interface. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There'll be a link in the description to that, as well as my Facebook fan page. Check that out to keep up to date, not only on my videos, but just Linux and open source news. I post things there regularly. Uh, also, if you enjoy my videos, please visit my website and uh, think about clicking on the donate button and donating a few bucks if you can. Uh, also, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, there will be a link to that on my website. I also have an RSS feed that I've been working on. Um, but uh, as far as my Twitter account, my Facebook account, tend to post the same stuff on both. But hey, if you want to follow me on both, that's great as well. So uh, as always, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.